most people don't use their imagination and when they do, they write out what they think they can achieve instead of using their hundred billion dollar brain to dream of what they want to achieve. So the question is, where do you start if you uh, want to build a million dollar business from scratch? Like, where do you start? Is there a syntax for doing it? So is there a syntax? Here's a question I want to ask you. Um, let's say you wanted to solve the Rubik's Cube, right? The uh, four by four or the three by three, you know, or even the two by two, right? Or hold on. What if you wanted to solve the five by five by five? First, the question that uh, is always worth answering is, is the how to solve it available? If you were committed to solving the Rubik's Cube, could you learn how to? Right? The question is very, very simple. Of course, you could learn how to. So here is my question for you. Where do you start? And I've got a bunch of notes that I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to give you a framework for you to consider if you want to start a business or if you have a business, you want to get it to a million. Isn't it true that we always should start with the vision of what it looks like upon completion? If you're building a home, right? If you're building a house, if you are working with an architect, right? Doesn't the architect ask you a bunch of questions of what does it look like once it's complete? How many bedrooms? How big is the kitchen? How many windows? How many bathrooms? Right? So if we always start with a vision with an architect, aren't you the architect of your business if you want to have one? So we start off with, first and foremost, what does it look like upon completion, right? And then once we have what it looks like upon completion, how much revenue it's generating, how much profits it's generating, how many people you're helping, what the business is doing, what does it look like department by department, then we have a vision of the completed business vision that we have. So when we do that, there's a couple things you want to understand is there's a part of the brain called the left prefrontal cortex right over here and the occipital lobe. Now, why are those important things to consider when you are building a business? And the answer is this part of your brain, that left prefrontal cortex and his uh, behavior neuroscience researcher, you're activating this Einstein part of the brain. That's the part of the brain, okay, that can imagine. Here's what I want my business to look like. Here's how much revenue I want it. Here's how much profits I want. Here's the lifestyle I'm going to be able to live. Here's the number of people I can help. And so when you activate this part of the brain and you start to write it out, you're also activating that visual cortex of the brain where you see yourself achieving that goal. So we always, always, always start with the vision and what it looks like upon completion. And Brene Brown has a great term that I love. You ready? She uses a term called paint done for me. Paint done for me. And what does paint done for me mean? It means show me what it looks like upon completion. And so very, very important first step. Most people don't use their imagination and when they do, they write out what they think they can achieve instead of using their hundred billion dollar brain to dream of what they want to achieve. And if it's true, like I said, that if you're committed, whether this is a, you know, a hundred thousand dollar business, this is a five hundred thousand dollar business, and this is a million dollar business, if you're committed to achieving it, we know how to achieve it, right? So part one is get your vision clear. Part number two is do you have any goals? Do you have goals of where you're going to be, okay, in one month, in three months, in six months, and in 12 months? So the way I teach all of my clients is we start off with the vision upon completion. We then set goals for, let's say, a year from now. What would we like to achieve within a year from now? What do we want to achieve within nine months from now? Goals. 
What do you want to achieve six months from now, three months from now, one month from now, one week from now? Why do we do that? Because a lot of times when we're focused on the vision and we're focusing on the goals a year from now, our brain sometimes gets on overwhelm because we may not currently have the knowledge or the skills to achieve the vision a year from now or nine months from now. So let me ask you a question. Let's say that I ask all of you, can you jog, okay, lightly jog a marathon right now? Can you jog a marathon right now? 26.2 miles, 40 kilometers. And most of us would say, I can't jog a marathon right now. But what if I asked you to envision jogging a marathon and finishing it one year from now? You're going past the finish line, you're raising your hands up in victory, and you and I and everybody here says yes, okay, I want to do it even though I can't right now. Imagine you go through that finish line and you did it. Now, if we set the vision of going through that finish line and celebrating, right, and then we said, okay, where do we need to be nine months from now so that a year from now, okay, we can do that? Where do we need to be six months from now, three months from now, one month from now, a week from now? Now, could we, pay attention, if we committed to finishing a marathon a year from now, could we start today with a little bit of a walk? Could we learn how to eat better? Could we learn how to exercise, right? Could we learn how to build up, okay, our resistance, our knowledge, our skills? Could we learn how much rest we need? Could we learn how to train properly from zero today to finish a marathon a year from now, one year from now? So, basically, when we're looking to build a million dollar business from scratch, that's the equivalent right, of running a marathon a year from now that we may not know how to achieve it. So not only is it possible, but what happens is once we set the vision first and then we set some goals, then we ask ourselves one other question. Ready? Why? Why must I achieve this? Why must I achieve? So let me ask you a question. For those of you that either want to start a business or for those of you that actually have a business. Why must your business be successful? Why must it? Because let me share with you something about the brain as you give me the answer. If your self-doubt, your fear, your stress, your anxiety, your uncertainty is bigger than your why, if your doubt, fear, anxiety, stress, uncertainty is bigger than why you must your fears, anxiety, stress, and uncertainty will win and you will lose motivation or your motive for action. Does that make sense? So whenever we're looking at achieving any goal, okay, our business goal, all right, whenever we are looking to build a million dollar business from scratch or a $500,000 business or a $250,000 business or a $10 million business, Okay, we want to make sure that our why is bigger than our obstacles. Our why has to be bigger than any obstacle that's in our way. All right. So when you're wise, but when you have your vision, your goals and your why, now you have a couple of the neural networks working for you. Does this make sense? So those are the first three keys. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it a fact? Is it a fact that if you have a vision, goals, and a why, but you don't have the knowledge or the skills, what happens in our brain when we have a vision, goals, and a big why, and we don't have the knowledge and the skills? Like what happens if we don't have the knowledge and skills? Do you have confidence and certainty, or do you have doubt and uncertainty? Are you brave and courageous, or are you fearful? Which one do you think happens without the knowledge and skills? Right? Which one? Obviously, whenever we don't have the knowledge and the skills, then we have doubt, fear, and anxiety, and that's when we have procrastination and self-sabotage. Right? So how do you develop the knowledge and the skills of what you need to do, when you need to do it, 
why you need to do it, and how you need to do it. When we're talking about the human brain, you have to understand that there are three core networks in the brain and dozens of different circuits that turn on or off. Fear circuit turns on or off. Motivational circuit turns on or off. Doubt circuit, uncertainty circuit turns on or off, right? So don't we want to learn, okay, the knowledge and the skills of how do we get our business to the first 25,000, the first 50,000, the first 100,000, the first 250,000, the first 500,000, then the million? When you focus on a million dollar business, but you don't even know how to build a hundred thousand dollar business, then you have doubt, fear, anxiety, and stress. When our brain is in a state of stress, what do we do? We fight, freeze, or run away. Fight, freeze, or run away. That's just the natural way that this brain works. So how do you get the knowledge and skills when you don't know it? If you were committed, okay, I'm going to go back to my Rubik's Cube. If you were committed, to solving the Rubik's Cube today, the two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five. If you were committed to solving it today, even though you don't know how to, could you if you were committed? If you were committed, could you learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube if somebody showed you how? Of course you could, but you wouldn't, okay, do it unless you were committed. You would do what's easy and convenient. Now, when we're talking about business growth, is business growth a skill? Is growing your business a skill? Let's assume that you have a good product or service or an idea. Let's assume that, okay? And if you don't think you have a good product, service, or idea, somebody created, you know, somebody created this little bottle with an acorn, and somebody created this pen, somebody created this little, you know, piece that, that helps my, you know, connect to my cell phone. Somebody created this Rubik's Cube. Somebody created this pad of paper. You know, somebody created my headphones. Somebody created, and I thought of this gratitude rock, right, and is selling it. So any idea for a product, your knowledge, or your skill, somebody already created ideas like the one you have or the product or skills that you have, and they learned some skills on how to get it to the marketplace, right? So... How do you get the knowledge and skill of what you need to do to reach the level of success that you need to get to? So if you're starting out from scratch, what do you need to do to get to your first 100,000 or first 50,000? What do you need to do? What do you need to learn? What's the knowledge and skills you need to have? Because business growth, okay, just like learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube is a skill, Business growth is also a skill. And for every level that you want to achieve, your knowledge and skill level must be better. Would you agree with that? I'm not telling you anything that isn't logical, but I want to break it down into the pieces for you because building a business is all about knowing how to do the right things in the right order at the right time right, how to position your program, product, or service, how to get in front of the people that may want your program, product, or service, how to create marketing messages, right, and offers that people want to buy from you instead of your competition, right? So when we are talking about growing a million-dollar business from scratch, Ask yourself, what's the knowledge and skills that I need and where am I going to get that? And then I want you to think about six different areas of a business. Let me give you a couple of things you need to be aware of as a business owner. What do you believe, okay, are the two most critical, two most critical parts of any business? Two most critical parts of any business. That if you don't do those, it doesn't make a difference how good your program, product, service, knowledge, skill, recipe, or ideas. What are the two critical things that you must have? What are the two most critical? Marketing and sales. Without marketing and sales, let me explain. I'm going to give you six different things that you need to be aware of, but if you don't know 
marketing and sales, or you don't know how to get it done, you will not have a successful business. So what's the responsibility of marketing? The responsibility of your marketing department is to brand you or your company and to generate leads for the business, to generate leads for the business. Without leads, it's like not having gasoline in your most beautiful car. Without leads, you cannot go anywhere. Why? Because if you don't have leads, then you can't make sales. If you can't make sales, you don't have money. If you don't have money, you can't get more leads and grow your business. So as a business owner, I want you to just understand that as a business owner, your number one and two priority above getting your product or service. Because listen, aren't people selling air in bottles. There are people that are selling air that they get in the highlands of Scotland and selling bottles of air in Asia. Air, air that they just go and capture. There are people, okay, they're selling pet rocks. There are people selling stuff that you go, what? People are actually buying that? Yes. So, Here's the question for you. Have your vision, you have your goals, you have your why, but without understanding selling and marketing and how to do it effectively, can you see where most business owners fail? It's not in the intention, it's at the skill level. The intention, everybody wants you know, to be successful in business. Everybody wants peace of mind and the lifestyle that having a business okay, will give them. But are you willing to upgrade your knowledge and skills so that you can be a better marketer? Can you do a better job at selling, which means you're just helping people. You're not doing anything to them. You do things for them. Would you agree that there is a psychology of marketing and a psychology of selling and we know more about marketing and selling now than we ever have in the history of of our species, we know what causes people to pay attention. We know what causes people to keep their attention focused on you. We know how to present things, to activate different parts of people's brains so that they take action and buy from you instead of your competition. Now, we know how to do that, but the question is, do you? Do you know how to do that? So when you are looking to do marketing, you can do what I call as haphazard marketing or flea marketing where you put your stuff on a table and you hope somebody comes by and buys it or you can do very, very specific targeted marketing with very, very specific messaging and a very specific process that makes it easy for somebody to pay attention and buy from you instead of your competition. Now, if you don't know how to do selling and marketing, how successful do you think your business is going to be? Not very. I, I tell you, I've, I've, I've helped over 10,000 business owners, but I've also seen over 100,000 business owners you know, who are just not doing the right thing and they fail, not in the intent, they fail at the skill level. They fail at the skill level. So when they fail at the skill level, they say, it doesn't work. Nobody wants my product or service. And that's not the truth. People are buying stuff, even stuff they don't need. So what I want you to understand is your priority is to understand selling and marketing at the level that you want to achieve the success. And then obviously there's finance, cash flow, legal, technology, right? There's client support. There's other departments, but without selling and marketing, right? Then your business will not grow to the level that's possible. Now think about this. There's over 2 billion people online, 2 billion people online. I'm sure you can get five of them or 10 of them or 20 of them to buy your program product or service every week or every month or more, right? So listen, 
the, the strategies that I teach my clients are the exact same strategies we use to generate 500,000 prospects a year. My clients are generating millions and millions and millions of prospects a year and hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. Why? Because they're applying the right information in the right order at the right time, right? So they're not doing things sporadically. They're doing things meth you know, with a methodology that works so they know what to do. So with that, um, I want you to understand something. When you have a lack of knowledge or skill, you actually are activating, okay, and you can see behind me over there the Frankenstein brain. I talked about it yesterday, and up there you see that Frankenstein's monster. You activate the self-doubt, fear, and anxiety centers of the brain, the stress center of the brain, and then you know what happens? You procrastinate. You self-sabotage. You take one step forward and three steps back, and you think that it's not working. It's not that it's not working. You just haven't decided to learn the algorithm, right? And I use the Rubik's Cube as an example because these are solvable, but they're not solvable to somebody who doesn't have the skill. So how much would it cost you? You know, how much does it cost you not to know how to make an extra sale, not to get an extra 10 or 20 leads? How much does it cost you not to have the consistent revenue? And don't just think of how much money it's costing you, but how much of a headache, a heartache, how much stress, right, is it costing you? The only issue you and I have, all right, is ignorance. Ignorance, do you know what that means? Do you know what ignorance means? Ignorance just means not knowing. It doesn't mean stupid. None of us are stupid. We are geniuses. We have genius capabilities with this $100, $100 billion brain. None of us are stupid, but all of us are ignorant. And my, my bet is you are ignorant. You are ignorant. You just don't know exactly how to get from where you are to where you want to be, or you'd already be there. You don't know the inner game stuff. You don't know the outer game stuff. And here is the question. If you don't know and then you learn, then do you know and can you apply? Right? Of course. So, um, so that's, that's all of us. So whatever level you want to reach, whether it's 50,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 250, 500,000, a million, doesn't matter. How to achieve it is already a known fact but it may not be your known fact. Hey, this is John, and if you liked that video, watch the next video because it is packed with things that you can do right now to achieve success way faster than ever before.